Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raudkela in the year 2020 and currently I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to show that F circle F inverse equal to IB and F, F inverse circle F equal to IE if it is given that F maps A to B is a bijection. So first of all, what are these IB and IA? IB and IA are identity functions. Okay? IB maps from B to B and as it is an identity function and IA maps from I to A. It is known, okay? In case if you don't know, I've just given you a recap. Now, in any theory, in any proof unit, it's always better to first write what is given, next write what, what we need to prove and then begin with proof. So that's why here what we are given, we are given uh, F maps A to B is a budget. Only this much we are given. You see here the first line, that's what I'm given. Based on that, I need to prove the other things. What I need to prove, I need to show these two things. F circle F inverse equal to IB and F inverse circle F equal to IA. These are the two things which I need to show now. My first, here's my proof. Now, first statement. Since F maps A to B is a bijection, F inverse maps B to A is also a bijection. F inverse maps B to A is also a bijection, okay? This is also one of the theorems, uh, like, which we ha had proved, like, uh, it's given in the textbook previously, so that we are using it here. This statement, you could say it directly now. First, I'm going to prove that F circle F inverse equal to I. Now, listen to me carefully. In F circle F inverse, first F inverse F inverse comes and then F. In F circle F inverse, first F inverse, first F inverse and then F. That's why you can observe my statement. Since F inverse maps B to A is a bijection and F maps A to B is a bijection, F circle F inverse maps B to B is also a bijection. How did I get this? Now see, as I told you, for F circle F inverse, first is F inverse. F inverse is going from B to A. Now F is going from A to B. So that's why B to A and then it, and now this A is going to B. That's why B is going to B. So F circle F inverse is nothing but going from B to B. Clear? Next. Also, IB maps B to B. As I told, it's an identity function. IB maps B to B is also a bijection. Now, therefore, these two are defined on the same domain. You see, their domain is same, right? F circle F inverse, it's domain are defined on B. And IB is also defined on B. Fine. And in fact, their codomains are also same. Fine. Now, what I need to show it, uh, show next is that, like I'm going to pick out an element and I'm going to show that, you know, its mapping is same. Okay, what do I, you will understand if I'll show it better instead of me speaking here much. Now, uh, since F maps A to B is a bijection, it's given, uh, it's also a surjection. Therefore, if I'll take an element B belongs to B, there must exist an element A belongs to A such that F of A equal to B because f maps a to b is a surjection, right? Since it is bijection, bijection, it is a surjection as well as an injection, fine? So I'm just using the condition a condition for a surjection. Now, since f of a equal to b, f of a equal to b, f inverse b equal to a, right? This you can remember it like this, like send this f this that also, that's not how things are happening. You can remember it like f inverse of b equal to a, you can remember it like that, okay? Now, now, I'm going to start, uh, uh, I took an element B belongs to B. Now I'm going to map it. Like I'm. this is my function F circle F inverse. Now I'm going to find out F circle F inverse of B. Basically, I'm going to check what is going to be the result of this. Okay. What is going to be result of this? P, uh, okay. Let me just finish this first. F circle F inverse of B. Okay. This I can write it as F of F inverse of B. Why? Because F circle G of X, I can write it as F of G of X. So that's why F circle F inverse of B, I can write it as F of F inverse of B. Now, what is F inverse of B? It is A. Just now I have showed it to you. Fine. So therefore, in place of F inverse B, I can write F of A. Now, what is F of A? It's nothing but B. Therefore, this is nothing but B. Therefore, F circle F inverse B is mapping to B. Okay, if I'll pick out an element, it is mapping to B. If, I, if I'm picking, a, pick, picking an element B from the domain, it's being mapped to B in the codomain. Likewise, IB of B is also equal to B. Why? Because it is an identity function. Identity in, in any identity function, like if you pick out an element, it will be mapped to the same element of that codomain. So that's why you see, basically, previously, if you remember in the previous slide, I showed that they both are defined in the same domain. Now, if I'll pick out an element for that element, you know, F circle F inverse is also mapping to the same element and IB is also mapping to the same element. So that's why that's why uh, that's why these two functions are nothing but same these two functions because their domain is same they are defined on the same domain and codomain and if i'll pick out an element it's being mapped to the same element
fine so that's why i can say that the uh, safely conclude that these two functions are same i know it's a bit tough to understand you can go through this video again once or twice uh, to understand this if you are like you are having difficulty in understanding any part you can just put down in the comments like i'll uh, help, i'll try to help you out uh, to whatever extent possible now next next thing i need to show that f inverse circle f equal to i now in f inverse circle f first f comes first f comes then f inverse remember it so that's why since f maps a to b is a bijection and f inverse maps b to a is also a bijection therefore f inverse circle f maps from a to a why did i get a to a i told you right in f inverse f first f inverse circle f first f comes so f is going from a to b and f inverse is going from b to a a to b to a so that's why f in f inverse circle f is going from a to a ultimately so that's why i got here f inverse circle f mapping from a to a it's also a bijection if any two functions are bijections then their composite function is also going to be a bijection fine now next also i am i am maps a to a is also bijection again the identity function it goes from capital a to capital a next now basically from these two statements we see that they are they are defined on the same domain capital back to domain also again but yeah domain itself like it should suffer now next now again the same condition let b belongs to b the same thing okay i am going to take an element b which belongs to b and since f maps a to b is a subject and there exists a bill an element a belongs to a such that f of a equal to b now same statement these two statements i just repeated uh, what i showed to you previously now what i'm going to do, what i'm going to do is i'm going to find out f f inverse circle f of a okay f inverse circle f of a okay and i'm going to check whether it's going to be mapped to a or not whether this element for this function is going to map to a let's see so f inverse circle f of a is nothing but f inverse of f what is f of a it's nothing but b likewise what is f inverse b it's nothing but a done see you guys might feel this proof is so short and so simple but yes it has some deep meaning behind it it has some meaning behind it okay so for that now next so therefore i have i have shown that the if i pick out an element it's mapping to the same element also ia we know that ia of a is nothing but equal to a because it's an identity function therefore f inverse circle f is nothing but equal to ia fine that's it with this the proof is done not just this theorem i have made uh, you know videos on other theorems from functions as well please do check them out i'll put the link for the playlist in the description please do check it out okay and many other topics also i'm covering from intermediate mathematics clear so you can go through my channel and you know check out the playlist you you would be able, you should be able to find out some relevant playlists for you out there and if you like this video solution please hit the like button it will encourage me make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it once again i'm akash i completed my btech from nit raurkela in the year 2020 current time mathematics teacher thank you